The appendicular skeleton of the lower body consists of the lower extremity and the pelvis. Hello and welcome to Two Minutes of Anatomy. I am Dr. Donald Ozello of Championship Chiropractic in Las Vegas, Nevada. The appendicular skeleton of the lower body. A single lower extremity contains 14 phalanges. These are the bones of the toes. There are proximal, intermediate, and distal phalanges five metatarsal bones, seven tarsal bones, two lower leg bones, the tibia and the fibula, the femur, which is the thigh bone, and the pelvis. The pelvis is made up of three bones, the ilium, the ischium, and the pubis. Also, there are three sesamoid bones in the lower extremity, the patella, and two sesamoid bones in the great toe. A single lower extremity contains 14 phalanges, again, the bones of the toes. There are proximal, intermediate, and distal phalanges, five metatarsals, seven tarsals, two lower leg bones, the tibia and the fibula, the femur, and the pelvis. The pelvis is made up of the ilium, the ischium, and the pubis. The appendicular skeleton is structured for a greater range of motion and local motion generation as compared to the axial skeleton. The appendicular skeleton articulates directly with the axial skeleton at the sacroiliac joints, which is where the sacrum articulates with the ilium bilateral. The connection between the sacrum and the ilium is important to transfer the load of the axial skeleton to the lower limb of the appendicular skeleton. 